So the second speaker is Thor Inge Reichstadt. Uh, he is a PhD student at the Department of Electric Power Engineering at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology in NTNU, Trondheim. He is also employed at Sintef Energy Research. His main research interests are modeling, control, and analysis of power system and power electronic converters. The title of his PhD work is Grid Integration of Variable Speed Hydropower Plant. And the PhD is part of a research project uh, called HydroSEN. The main objective of the project is to ena enable the Norwegian hydropower sector to meet complex challenges and exploit new opportunities through innovation, uh, innovative te uh, technological solutions. So, uh, Thor, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Can you hear me and see my screen? Very well. Thank you. <clears throat> um, the title of my paper for this conference is uh, Optimized Control of Variable Speed Hydropower for for provision of fast frequency results. I will start by a short introduction of the concept of variable speed hydropower. Most of the plant is similar to a conventional hydropower plant. The waterway consists of uh, uh, tunnels from the reservoir to the turbine, the hydropower tunnel down to the search tank and the pan stuck down to the turbine. <coughs> the Francis turbine is connected to a conventional synchronous generator. The main difference from a conventional hydropower plant is the full converter, a back-to-back -back converter located between the generator and the grid. This allows the rotational speed of the turbine to change. Since we have utilized a conventional synchronous generator, we are, we are able to bypass the converter if we want or need it. The main benefit of uh, variable speed hydropower is that the turbine can achieve a higher efficiency when not operating at its best operation point since the rotational speed can be changed. Usually, this is the case in, at low production. The highest increase in efficiency is achieved when the turbine is a pump turbine operating in pumping mode. In this case, the variable speed operation also allows for adjustment of the pumping power. The other main advantage is that the grid connector, grid connector converter are able to deliver auxiliary services to the grid. Since the rotational speed can vary, the rotational energy or the kinetic energy of the turbine and generator can be utilized to deliver virtual inertia, also called synthetic inertia, by controlling the active power up to the grid. The speed and precision of the voltage control can also be improved by controlling the reactive power output. This figure shows the layout of the proposed variable speed hydropower control system uh, with model predictive controller, MPC, and virtual inertia. First, a uh, Kalman fist filter estimate the states of the system. Uh, the MPC inputs these and optimize the system by controlling the guide vane opening reference to the turbine and the power reference to the virtual inertia controller. In this case, a virtual synchronous generator called a VSG. The VSG outputs the current reference in the D-axis to the grid-connected converter. So why do we need virtual inertia? As uncontrollable renewables like PV and wind power replaces large thermal energy plants, the system inertia decreases causing higher frequency deviation and reduced stability margins. 
Virtual inertia con control can improve the frequency stability by proper control of the power electric converters. In this paper, we have utilized a virtual synchronous gate generator, a VSG, which is essential a PD controller inputting the frequency deviation calculated by a PLO and outputting the current reference in the D-axis to the grid connected converter. Variable speed hydropower is well suited for delivering virtual energy since it can obtain the energy from the genetic energy stored in the turbine and generators to change the output power almost instantaneous by converter technology. Next, the turbine rotational speed can re be regained by controlling the turbine flow and thereby the turbine mechanical power. Thus, the variable speed hydropower plant can operate at a new stationary output power after the disturbance. As mentioned, the future grid with less inertia will experience larger frequency groups. Fast frequency wave surfs, FFR, are, su are suggested as a new auxiliary services. By reacting within uh, one to two seconds, the FFR will reduce the maximum frequency deviation. In comparison, frequency containment reserves, FCR, is activated after the frequency has reached its which is a maximum deviation approximately five seconds after the disturbance. And thereby it's too, it is too slow. Also the power response from conventional hydropower plants with Pelton and Francis turbines are too slow to deliver FFR. Model predictive control, MPC, is utilized in this paper to optimize the control of the variable speed hydropower plant. The MPC models the system for a given number of time steps ahead to predict the system's performance. It is able to consider constraints in both the electrical and the hydraulic system. With this information, the MPC optimizes the system for each time step by minimizing a defined cost function. And is thereby able to coordinate the control of the hydraulic and electric system by setting the power reference to the VSG and the guide when opening reference to the turbine. The objectives of the MPC can be prioritized when constructing the cost function of the MPC. The most important objectives are to avoid damage to the system by keeping the search tank level and the turbine rotational speed within its limits. Primarily, the frequency control should be performed by the VSD and the VS and the power reference to the variable, variable speed hydro power should normally be kept constant at its nominal value. Therefore, we want to minimize the deviation in the variable speed hydro power plant reference. However, the corresponding cost is less than for the two first points since we want the MPC to control the output power in cases where control of the turbine guide when opening is not sufficient to keep the search tank and the turbine rotational speed within its limit. We have also included a cost for deviation in the turbine rotational speed from its optimal value to maximize the efficiency of the turbine. In addition, the MPC will try to keep the turbine flow within its constraints.
Slack variables are utilized to include cost for exceeding constraints in the cost function. As an example of ex as an example, the cost of exceeding the maximum maximal and minimum limits of the search tank cab and the turbine rotational speed is very high to avoid this from happening and thereby to avoid damage to the system. For the turbine rotational speed, there is also a cost for deviation from the normal rotational speed to increase the efficiency of the turbine. Hard limits are utilized for the guide when opening of the turbine and the output power to the grid. In addition, a cost of deviation in the um, power reference to the VSG is included to assure that the VSG performs the frequency regulation in normal operation. In addition, there is a constraint on how fast the guide when opening can open or close. The next slide shows the main results of the dynamic analysis. The proposed MPC is compared to a pit control of the turbine generator governor and the variable speed hydropower is controlled by the same VSG in both cases. Thereby, the output power and the grid frequency is almost similar for, for the two cases. However, the MPC is able to increase the mechanical power of the turbine faster. And this is causing the rotational speed to deviate less from its optimal value as seen here. The blue is the MPC and the red is the PID control. The MPC increases the guide when opening of the turbine and thereby the turbine flow faster than the pit controller. This is possible since the MPC considers the constraints of the hydraulic system, such as the search tank head and the turbine head. The MPC will therefore change the guide when opening as fast as possible without exceeding these constraints. While the pit controller has to be parameterized conservatively to avoid too high or too low search tank head causing damage to the system. The disadvantages of the MPC is that it causes additional oscillations in the hydraulic system, both low frequency oscillations between the reservoir and search tank called mass oscillations and higher frequency oscillations in the penstock called water hammering, as we see here from the two figures of the pressures in the system. So the conclusion is that we are able to control the uh, variable, variable speed hydropower plant faster with MPC control to maximize how much frequency resources, containment resources, and FFR we are able to deliver to the grid. Thank you very much for listening. Yeah, thanks, Thor, for uh, this interesting presentation. Uh, I see we have already one question by Jordan Holweger, and the question is the following. The MPC make a lot of small oscillation. Can you comment on the impact on the mechanical part of the hydropower? Uh, yes. Um, of course, this increased oscillation will cause 
more damage to the system. But we are able to set the limits where we want, and it's also possible to add cost uh, for avoiding oscillations and uh, in the system. Uh, and this is not the normal operation either. This is extreme cases where we have a large disturbance in, in the grid. So um, with the MPC controller, we're able to to be more aware of where we set the the limits uh, compared to a PID controller of the governor. Okay, I, I see that Jordan is unhappy maybe with uh, the, the comment. Could you show again how the MPC perform uh, regarding frequency recovery speed, please? Uh, the frequency recovery. Uh, if it's or, or talking it's about the on. grid frequency, um, that's similar for for the case for both cases here, where we have a variable uh, a VSD that controls the output power to to the grid, and as long as the um, constraints of the VSD uh, and the hydraulic systems and the rotational speed of the turbine is not exceeded, uh, those will be similar. Okay, thanks. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm wondering if it may be asking about the rotational speed of the turbine and generator. And the deviation is less for the MPC since the mechanical power of the turbine can be increased faster. Okay, thanks. I will then take one question by Marcin Poyan Palo. Is this technology in use at some power plant already? Uh, not as far as I know, but I know that MPC is used in conventional power plant without the rotational speed to, to uh, as a governor control to avoid uh, too high or too low pressures in, in the hydraulic system. Okay. Uh, we have another question from Petros Aristidou. Uh, how sensitive is the method to errors in the prediction of grid power balance? Do, do you see also the question, right? in the sense that Rockoff and frequency are impacted by the distance of the fault to the unit, so they are not very reliable, reliable to estimate the grid power balance. Have you thought about this already? Yeah, it's, um, it's a pretty simple estimation of, uh, of the grid power balance just from the frequency measured at, at this point. And, uh, from an estimated in total inertia and damping in, in the grid. So just um, this uh, swing equation that is used to estimate uh, the power balance. However, it's not that important that it's exactly co correct. It just, we just need to know in approximately in what the direction the frequency will, will take. Okay, one short question by Kita Toko, Tokumitsu. At about 20 seconds, why is there small oscillation of uh, active power of PG? Uh, yes. I think uh, there. I think it's because um, No, I can't quest, uh, answer that just now. I, I don't remember. You, you could also chat with uh, the person who asked uh, privately, maybe. Uh, I'm not, I, I would have a very brief last question, maybe, because I see there is nothing more. I was wondering, in your MPC, basically, it's an optimization problem, right? It's uh, some linear model, is mixed integer linear, it's only linear model. Uh, 
does, does it comply with real time requirements? Um, yes, this is uh, or the model is nonlinear, but it's linearized for for each solution of the MPC problem. Um, okay. It's not run it run in uh, real time, but uh, it's fast enough to to be run in real real time. Okay, so we will focus on improving the computational tractability of this problem. Yes. Great. We are in time. Thanks a lot for your presentation. You're uh, welcome. We...